Hello and welcome everyone to this project on commission calculation based on date buckets. For example, if the sales are made during the green dates, then there is a commission. If it's made on red date, then no commission. Now what is green and what is red date? For example, if you made a sale between 1st and 7th December, then this sale will make you eligible for commission. However, if you make a sale during the red period, then there is no extra commission on the sales. Now you might be asking, where is the raw data? Well, let me begin. First, you have a sheet which has a December 2019 sales. You have made sales through your distributors, which can be seen here. So dealer code ending with 967 is called Big Time Bike Store. And this dealer has sold 900 units on the first day of December. Now, the total of all the sales made by this dealer between 1st and 7th December must be included in the cell which mentions that dealer name. To be able to do that, you will have to use the function some ifs with three criteria. So let me begin writing some ifs. Why would I need some ifs and not some if? Because we are having three criteria and one by one I will explain all the three criteria. But after opening up the bracket, either you click on the button FX or you press the shortcut key control A. So let's see in either of the scenarios, there will be a pop-up of the function argument box. Now, as you can notice, if I press tab key, there will be more options box coming up. So criteria one would be revolving around dealer code. Criteria two will be revolving around the starting of the date. And the third criteria would be regarding less than equal to 7 December. So let me start again afresh by going to the first empty cell and writing in some ifs, pressing tab key, then either clicking on FX or pressing control A. Now I go to criteria one and that is nothing but dealer code. Now I would want that this dealer code should be able to move down as in when I copy paste the formula down and therefore the row number six should not be frozen. However, I don't want the dealer code to shift from column A to B when I copy paste the formula from left to right. Therefore, there should be a dollar before A. So let me go back to the formula and put a dollar before A. Next, let me press tab key twice so that I can come to criteria number two. Now, to be able to present criteria number two, I put a double quote more than equal to and then close the double quote. This is a sort of an operator enclosed in a pair of double quotes. Now you'll be putting in the ampersand so that you can join that with the cell containing 1st December. Now it's okay that this date is being represented as a number because in Excel every valid date is a number. Now be careful. If you did not follow this notation and simply wrote more than equal to and this date, then this formula argument does not understand what you're trying to tell. Hence, let me go back and write the correct syntax, double quote, more than equal to, double quotes closed, then ampersand, and then choosing 1st December. Now, let me pause here for a moment. Why? Because I would want that this cell should never move down as and when the formula is copy pasted down, which means this third should be frozen. There should be a dollar before three. Next. Whenever I copy paste the formula right, this reference of 1st December should also move right to the 8th December. And for that to take place, D should be able to jump to F. That means there should no dollar before D. So let me go back and make that small correction. A dollar before three is important. Let me press tab key twice so that I can jump to criteria number three. So double quote, less than equal to double quotes again, putting an ampersand and then choosing 7th December. Just like last time, I'm going to put a dollar before four. You can also do that by pressing the function key F4 again and again so that you get D dollar four. So basically, we have been able to give criteria number one, which is nothing but the dealer code. Criteria two is saying more than equal to the first December and criteria three is less than equal to seventh December. Having done this, let me scroll back to the top and let me begin thinking about how do I fulfill the range numbers? So I go to some range and this range should be that column which consists of number you wish to add up. 
So I go to December 19 sales, I pick up column D and I freeze that. Now you can also pick up a part of the column, but whichever way you do, please be consistent for all the ranges across this formula. So if you have chosen the full column, you will choose the full column for all the other ranges which are about to arrive. So now I go to criteria range 1. Since criteria 1 is about dealer code, range 1 would be that column which consists of dealer code. I press F4. Do ensure the heights of all the ranges are same. Next, I go to criteria range 2. Now criteria 2 is about date. So range 2 must be about the column containing date. I freeze that. For additional convenience, I copy that particular phrase which is regarding the column containing date and paste it in the criteria range 3. And why would I do that? Because we notice closely, this criteria and the next criteria both are dates. Hence, the respective ranges are also focusing on the same column A which consists of the date list. Once I do all this correctly, you will see that at the bottom right there is a formula answer coming up which means we are on the right track. Once I press OK, I will copy paste this formula down and I'll copy the entire cluster so that I can go to the next cluster beginning, paste it, paste it and paste it. Now all the sales made during the green period is eligible for commission and therefore I do a very basic sum of all the green sales for every row. Once I do a sum of green, I might also do a sum of all the red sales bucket. Now this is pretty easy and the black grand total is nothing but a sum of both these subtotals. So I'm going to copy paste this now down. However, these subtotals under the green bucket is eligible for commission. So for example, if I sold 2275, then each unit is attracting a commission and that logic is given in the last sheet. So 2275 is forming as part of this bracket, which means $3.2 per unit. Now to calculate the dollar per unit of commission, I need to go back and prepare a single column value where each value is considered as more than equal to. So more than equal to 0, more than equal to 1501, then 1801, and then 2201. And you can complete this by pressing Ctrl E, which is nothing but the shortcut key for flash fill. If you do not have this in your version, no worries, you can even type this down as I had shown you. Now, once you have converted these slabs into single value in ascending order, where each value is being read as more than equal to, then you have the power to apply VLOOKUP with TRUE. So instead of me writing function like is equal to if choosing the value, if that is less than equal to let's say 1601, then give me some commission, but that's going to be very, very lengthy. So we write equal to VLOOKUP, look for this green total comma, then go to the commission logic, Ensure that you choose this as the first column and then the remaining part of the table. Immediately press F4 comma. Now the third column is where your answer is, right? So we'll be writing the column index number 3 here. So let me go there and write column index number 3. And finally, because you are meeting three conditions, what are the three conditions? That the data must be a slab. It should be converted into an ascending order value and each of these values should be read as more than equal to. So with these three conditions met, I can easily go to the last parameter and write in true or I can put a digit 1 in place of true. Then closing the bracket, enter. So what you see is nothing but a calculation showing the per unit commission. Finally, I'll be multiplying that per unit commission with the total sales eligible amount. Once I did that, I have the total commission, I'm going to copy paste this down and if I press alt equal to, that's a shortcut key for sum, it tells me the total sum of all the commission given is 97,690. I repeat, 97,690. So friends, I know this was a pretty lengthy exercise but it is an amazing exercise where you have used sum is function with multiple criteria. More importantly, you have used more than equal to and less than equal to in this form of the syntax. 
then you also use the dollar and VLOOKUP with true to get your correct answer. So please do watch this video again and do practice because this was a pretty advanced calculation of commission.